Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead, and it's time to pick some beans. We have uh, our bush variety of beans we planted. We got two, like eight foot long beds by two to two, two to three foot wide. So we have two small beds here of bush beans that it's time to pick some of, okay? We got our trusty little uh, stainless steel bowls and uh, Angela and I are gonna get into them and pick. Now this right here, I wanna show you. Like this section here, they got they got beat up here because they were on, because they fell over into the fence, this electric fence. So they were holding, they were falling into the electric fence and the pulses from the electricity were hitting them and that kind of wore, wore these plants out a little bit. <laughs> But we do have some beautiful beans to pick. Some of them are curled up, some of them are not. But beautiful beans in here, see? Nice bean. And uh, with a bush bean, you gotta get these off of there, okay? Uh, like these contenders, you got plenty of good sized beans in there, but we also have small beans that are trying to grow. And without getting these big beans off of there, the small beans don't have the energy to, the plants don't have the energy to put forth for the smaller beans. So you gotta pick these beans when you when they're ready to roll and when you do so pick everything's possible some will be fatter some will be skinnier but you gotta get everything that's edible right now so that the plants can kind of reset and get going and plant or set some more beans angela and i was getting ready to get started then and we're gonna see what we what we come up with all right angela says there's quite a few in there i haven't looked she did so we'll see if she's right oh, our bowls are getting full time to take them inside now a lot of times what we'll do is we'll spread out paper bags now old old school times you would take newspapers right and put them on newspaper but nobody has newspaper anymore and these are probably better for it anyways so just spread out a couple of paper bags cut them out spread them out and we'll dump our beans onto there it's a good start Hey, there you have it. A little over five and a half pounds of beans. So we're gonna take those, break them up, and can them, and we'll show you what we got. And the last one down. Hey, all that turned into five beautiful quarts of beans. Look at that. I awesome. think they're some of the prettiest I've ever canned. Oh, they're awesome. That's gonna be some good eating. But what if you didn't plant that many beans, or you just simply don't have that many ready to be picked right now, but you do have some that needs to be picked off? You see, after we had the initial picking the other day, some more of these were able to finish growing and get a lot bigger real fast. But we don't really have that many left right now that needs to be picked. Some of them still need, need time to grow. But these like this need to get off of there before they go start trying to go to seed or really slow down the plant and really cause uh, these other smaller ones to not be able to fill, fill out. So we're gonna go through and pick off these few beans that are like this and we'll show you what we're gonna do with them. Well, we got more than we thought we was gonna get, but it still really isn't enough to do any canning with, obviously, and maybe not even enough for a, a good meal, probably not, because it, well, these are gonna break down a lot once you cook them. So let's take them inside. So now we're back inside, and I've got them all washed and broke up. And now we are going to show you the second way to preserve these. That's freeze them. Now, most people will tell you that you need to take these and blanch them for just a few minutes. You need to put them in hot water just for a couple of minutes and then dry them and put them in a bag. You don't have to do that. Contrary to belief, it does not set up bacteria. Nope. Bacteria cannot grow in a freezer. The main reason that people used to think that you had to blanch all vegetables before you froze them was because they're is an enzyme in some vegetables that allows them to never get tender once they've been frozen. That enzyme does not exist in green beans. And actually, if you just freeze them like this, because all I'm gonna do is put them in a zip, zip top bag that I have marked the name of the bean because we grow several types of beans, so I have to do the name of the bean and the, the year. You don't want to put the date because you're going to add to this. Yep, exactly. So, 
then you want to roll it down to get as much air as you can out. You want to roll it down tight. You can also do this in your vacuum sealer if you have a vacuum sealer. And see, if you do it like this, you can keep constantly adding to this bag right. as you pick until they are, until your bag is full and you have enough for a meal. And when you cook them, you won't cook them like you do canned green beans. You will cook them like you, you would cook them if they were coming straight out of the garden. And that's the way they're going to taste. They're yep. going to taste like they just came straight out of the garden. With them in blanch, they don't, they don't keep that freshness. No, they don't keep that freshness. And I think they have a little bit of a bitterness. Right. Okay, so there you have it. There's a beautiful green bean harvest and two ways to preserve green beans. Again, fr uh, freezing them, you can just, again, pick some, wash them, break them, add them, add them to the bag. Pick some, wash them, break them, add them to the bag. If you don't have enough for a meal, that way you can just keep collecting them. Make sure you do get enough for a meal at one time and keep your plants healthy at the same time instead of letting them all sit there and not, not, not know what to do with them, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. Again, my name is Jason. That's Angela Kay, Art of Creation Homestead. We love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.